What is up, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? My name's Naomi. Welcome to House of Miscellanea. I wanted to give you guys a post-review on Catch Me by Mrs. Butter D. I have thoughts. Let's get going. Okay, so I love Diamond Art Club's soft tarpaulin fabric that they use for their canvases. However, that material picks up everything. So one of the first things that I do when I finish a piece is I hit it with a lint roller um, to get the back of the canvas kind of hair free. I mean, I have three dogs and a cat, so like it's unavoidable. I'm going to get some hair, right? Um, so I'm just kind of looking through, making sure I got everything, and it looks like I did. So that said, I also rolled this other side however I found a diamond on it's not on here now but I found a diamond on the lint roller so I'm trying to see where it came off of but it might have actually been an extra that was just on the canvas um post review of catch me guys I had so much fun so much fun with this one I on a lark on a lark, I decided to kit this one up, and I was doing a live on Twitch. Um, I've, I've got my, my notebook here. It tells me everything I need to know. Um, just a, a plain journal. Plain, well, I say plain. My husband got me this for a, a birthday gift. I was afraid to put anything in it. I've been afraid to write in it. And then I thought, you know what? Journals are meant to be written in. It's real leather. Like, it's, it's good stuff. Um... So I put my notes about my diamond paintings in it. Um, and I have notes about Catch Me, and I want to share some of those things. I kitted this one up on a lark. I decided, you know, we were in a Twitch live stream, and somebody had asked me what I used my credit for, and I said, oh, yeah, I got a, a couple of... Um, I got a couple of different paintings. I just, I, they're right over there in a box, actually. I did a live unboxing on the, on the Twitch stream. And then I was like, oh my gosh, when I got this one open, I'm like, I want to kit it up right now. They're like, well, do it. Do it. I'm like, I'm going to start working on it immediately. If I do that, go for it. So that's what happened. I kitted it up and I started working on it on a live Twitch stream. Um, so many things I want to discuss about this. Uh, I mean... Let me, let me give you a whole sort of run from the top. You can see, you can see most of both sides. Most of the sides are just tan, but you're going to see all of the regular subject matter in, um, in this anyways. So let me just start rolling it down for you so you can get a good, I will also include a full, um, photo of the piece, uh, at, at the top too so you can see everything love this little round kitty butt so cute and the grass I loved the use of a B's and specialty diamonds so let me yeah let me let me get into it so this one for reference is Catch Me by Mrs. Butter D from Diamond Art Club. It is a 55.8 by 70.6 centimeter piece. And I have my little bag with all the colors that I used in it. I started this piece on April 4th. I finished this piece on April 10th. <laughs> I did not expect to be unable to put this down and to put it away but I I really I had a hard time um I was drawn by the color palette we've been you know having some kind of crap winter-ish weather we're trying for spring and failing miserably and so the color palette really spoke to me in that way um I liked that there was like a, a sepia tone to it. It feels very um, colorful after having kind of a blue period of my own. Um, the subject matter 
I love the little hidden gems, the, the Kirby that she's catching, the little unicorn hiding back here, the stitch, you know, whatever this is here. I think it's supposed to be like a teddy bear with a wand in front. I'm not really sure. I've never been able to pinpoint what this is here. But that said, I really, really super enjoy just the little hidden things, you know. Um, I like that it, and, and like these little bits and bobs on her backpack. I just, I love the little star, the strawberry, you know, the heart, the pin. It just very 1990s sort of cutesy. I don't know if I'd call her a raver girl necessarily, but sort of that vibe, right? Um, I had some dislikes with this kit. Uh, I've been working on a lot of squares. So going back to rounds, of course, is always interesting because there's so much extra space. And this is no different with the gaps. Um, I really am a stickler about straight lines. I've done pretty well. You can see over here keeping my lines straight. I don't use a grid or anything like that. I use tools, straightening tools to take care of it. Usually my, my straightener is like the one thing that I will use to straighten things out. Um, but you know, I am still seeing some areas that need some touch up that are going to drive me nuts. Um, okay. Another couple of things that bugged me about the piece in the render, even not the sticker, but in the actual render, this line on the machine is very straight and it is not straight in this. We have a, we have a jagged line that happens here. Uh, another that happens here. We have, you know, a, a break in color, this brown for some reason. I'm not really sure why that um, I guess, yeah, in the, in the picture, it does have sort of a, a fuzz to it. Um, and then, you know, breaks in here and in here, uh, did not really like that. Um, some of the ways that they decided to, um, use this like sunbeam reflection that's happening across the machine here. Um, I liked, I liked this area but then when we get down into here it kind of devolves a little bit I feel like and from far away viewing distance it, it looks great um a note there was a kid up mishap um I was really really bummed I had to go back and pick off a bunch of diamonds so these diamonds okay so the pink in Kirby here and the peachy kind of orange here are very similar to each other and I didn't realize until pretty late in um, I had already done around this border here I had done basically all of this area here um, down into the ball here that also uses the peach and the pink um, realizing I had made a mistake and I had to pick, 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 pick them all up. I was wondering why Kirby looked really orange. I'm like, he shouldn't look orange that way. Cause you see that he does have some spots like in his hands where the reflection makes him cast a little bit more of a, a peachy sort of feel, but this looked completely backwards. Like, especially here with the darker peach with the light peach next to it, it <laughs> with that and pink, it just, yeah, I messed that up. That was my own fault. I fixed it. I went back and picked every single one of them off and replaced them where they should go. So it looks perfect now. Um, but even like the the sun that would be shining on her hair, kind of turning this into a, a, I don't know what I'd call that color. It's sort of a greenish mustard yellow, I guess. Um, so yeah, just some of the, some of the color, like gradients that they put in here, I did not care for. I do like the placement of the ABs and specialty diamonds. So there are fairy dust diamonds, um, especially along like the, like shine 
of her pants and her bottom here, her little rosy bottom. This is also a fairy dust diamond here. Um, I like that there are some fairy dust diamonds in the grass at the bottom, down in here. ABs were pretty sparingly used. She's got a few in her hair. And then along that catch me title uh, on the machine, that is ABs there. Um, but all in all, I feel like it was a success. I really enjoy this piece. My son has already told me that he wants to snag it and put it in his room. Um, he really just digs the subject matter and that I, I appreciate it because, you know, otherwise it gets tucked away somewhere and, and never to be seen again. But I, I really did like this piece from Diamond Art Club. I did not save it, but I did not have a lot of trash. This was actually pretty good for um, good drills. The ones that I threw out were ones that had, you know, pinprick holes um, from the resin or uh, excess flash. Nothing major, nothing major at all. Or, you know, those weird sticks that you get in there that's like a stick of resin, plastic. No big deal. No big deal at all. Um, I had more than enough diamonds left over that if I had a full-on mishap, I probably would have been able to replace them on my own. But I really, really liked it. I am not typically a big fan of color blocking. However, it was a nice mix of the two. Um, you can see that there's these large areas of color blocking that happen in the background. It's basically the entire border of this piece is color blocking. You know, obviously it's broken up with some of these fairy dust, uh, white fairy dust diamonds. Um, but it was pretty much a color block piece until you get into the subject matter. And then it becomes a little more... Um, even then it wasn't confetti heavy. It was just, you know, changing things up. Um, I don't tend to like these big swaths because then I start doing silly things like writing dirty words in the diamonds so that I can figure out something fun to do. Um, but I didn't need to do that with this because there was enough to break it up. And I really enjoyed that. Um... I would call this one a success in the books, six days, um, working tirelessly, not really doing a lot of sleeping, but it got me through some, some of my blue period I've been under lately, and I'm very grateful for that, but um, this piece is, as of the reviewing of this product, uh, this particular painting. It is available right now on Diamond Art Club's site uh, for $54.99. Of course, always, always use codes when you are getting items for discounts. If it's going to be your first purchase at Diamond Art Club, you can save 20% by using the app for the first time. Um, otherwise, if it's a secondary purchase, you can use the code TAKE10, T-A-K-E, and the number one zero to take 10% off of your purchase. Uh, or if you are part of the VIP group on Facebook, there are, uh, there's a coupon code on there that I'm not able to share with you, but you should, you should join the Facebook group and get that coupon code. Uh, but definitely recommend picking it up. It was a lot, a lot of fun. I obviously went through it really fast. Um, and I'm sure that any intermediate painter could do the same. But I I think that's a success in the book. Oh, one last, one last little baby gripe that I do have. There's a lot of light colors in this piece. And because the grid underneath there's not a squared grid but the letters are dark and so whenever a diamond is not placed straight on you can see the coloring underneath um this here you can see in the pink um right oh sorry 
right in here some of the darker writing underneath where it's not quite spot on okay so that i i wanted to make mention of that so that you weren't surprised if that happens to you you really have to like nail it spot on so anyways i i i still call this a success i think is it it is a a beautiful sparkly um happy piece and it makes me want to do some more butter d I've got a couple pieces of hers that I want to work on. So um, I look forward to them after this piece. Otherwise, uh, if you like this post review, please leave a like in the uh, with the button below. Leave a comment in the comments area if you'd like to do that, asking questions about it or letting me know what pieces you're working on. Um, otherwise, if you want to see more diamond painting content from me, you can do so by hitting that subscribe button. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in this great, big, beautiful world, that you are having a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, whatever, whatever it happens to be, wherever you are. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.